Hey there. Today, I'll show you two methods to download courses from Skillshare. Each method has its own merits and demerits. So we will talk about that also briefly. The first method uses Skillshare Downloader to download courses to your Google Drive from where you can download them to your computer. So what are the requirements for this particular method? You need a Skillshare course that you want to download. You need a Google account, preferably one that you do not mind getting deleted. This happened with me. My account got terminated because of well this. And so I'm warning you, create a new account, go to google.com, sign in, create a new account and just create a new account that you are going to use just for this purpose. Also, since it's going to be a new account, your Google Drive will be empty and uh, you will have more storage available to store those courses. Third thing is a computer. You can probably do this from your phone or a tablet also like an iPad, but it's just much easier to do on your computer. And number four, internet connection. Duh. First, you have to go to this website that is Skillshare DL. This is a Google Collab notebook. Once you're on this website, you are going to see this connect button on the top right corner. Click that. Then you are going to see the status change, allocating, connecting, then initializing, and then it's going to say connected. After you see the word connected, it's going to say RAM and disk. You can hover over it like this and you will see uh, the amount of RAM and disk storage that is available. Don't worry too much about that. Next, you have to come to the left and click here, run this cell to mount Then uh, you know, click run anyway. After that, uh, it's going to take a few seconds. Uh, you're going to see this connect to Google Drive prompt, click that and then it's going to ask you to log into your Google account. Use the new account that you created. As you can see, these are the permissions that this tool requires, which is why I'm suggesting creating a new account. You know, I'm going to allow it and then it's going to take a few more seconds to uh, mount Google Drive. Once that is done, we have to come down and click here where it says run this cell to mount Skillshare DL requirements. This is also going to take a few seconds and uh, roughly like half a minute to a minute. And you are going to see this installing process. While it's happening, let's go to Skillshare and choose a course. So here I am on Skillshare and let's say I want to download this particular course, unlocking your potential. I can go down and see what exactly is included in the course, how many videos are there. I can read about this class. I can read about the uh, course author, etc. All I have to do is go to the search, like the address bar and copy the link that is there. Copy and then I need to paste that link uh, in this Skillshare downloader here. And then I need to run this particular cell. Uh, and after I've clicked that, it's going to start downloading all the videos. So what's happening right now is Skillshare Downloader is downloading all these videos to its own storage, which is where the previous storage thing that we saw comes into picture. This process will take a few minutes, like, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes for courses that have 50, 60 or maybe 100 videos. As you can see, all the videos have been downloaded to Skillshare Downloader. Now we need to move it from Skillshare Downloader to our Google Drive. For that, we need to click this last button here. Now this will take a few seconds, depending on how many videos are there in the course. Since this course has only eight videos, it took literally two seconds to transfer all the videos to Google Drive. Now, as I open Google Drive, you can see that a new folder has been created called Skillshare DL. And if I open that, there is a new folder from uh, titled Emma Gannon, which is the name of the author of this course that I downloaded. I can open that particular folder and then here is my course with all the separate, all the videos that are in the course. I can either download the entire course like this or I can choose individual videos and download them like this or I can choose a few videos and then download them. If I choose more than one video, then Google creates a zip file with all the videos in it. Now a common error message that you will see is this. This happens when you try to download more than two courses at a time. Let me show you what I mean with, um, you know, an example. Let's understand why this happens. So when you use this particular tool, a new folder called Skillshare DL is created in the root directory of Google Drive. When you open that folder, you have course number one. If you try to download a second course, 
then a new folder inside that Skillshare DL folder is created. And this folder is called Skillshare, as you can see here. And inside that Skillshare folder, course number two is downloaded and saved. To fix that error, what you have to do is take course number one from this particular folder and course number two from that particular folder and move them to the root directory beside Skillshare DL. Once that is done, you will be left with Skillshare folder inside Skillshare DL folder. And you need to delete both the folders from uh, Google Drive and also from Trash. As you can see, I have moved uh, second the second course from you know the Skillshare folder to the root directory. And then I have also moved the first course to the root directory as well. And I'm left with three folders now. What I'm gonna do is delete the Skillshare DL folder from the root directory and also from Trash. After this, if I try to move the third course to Google Drive, voila, it gets saved to Google Drive inside a Skillshare folder. Now, what are some restrictions? What are some limitations of using this method? Well, for me at least, all the courses are downloaded in 720p. Many courses on Skillshare are in Full HD, that's 1080p. So it's sort of a downgrade going from 1080p to 720p. And many people complain about that. To download videos in 1080p, watch the next method that I'm gonna share with you. The second restriction, the second limitation is that you can only download two courses at once without facing that particular issue. The third thing is you have got limited Google Drive storage. So you can only store maybe three or four courses at once on Google Drive, and then you have to download it to your computer and then delete it from Google Drive, which can be a bit of a pain. And the fourth restriction is many courses have project files in them. You don't get access to those project files if you use this method. Now, even though I showed you how to download courses from Skillshare, I would request that you don't abuse this. Please subscribe to Skillshare if possible, and please watch these videos on Skillshare. That helps out these creators who have put their hard work and sweat into it and created these courses. Also, depending on where you are from, downloading these courses can be considered illegal. And if you get in trouble, please don't come blaming me. Now coming to the second method. For this, we will be using something called Internet Download Manager. If you are a Windows user and if you have used IDM, then you know where I'm getting at. But in case you are not familiar with this software, it's a download manager. It helps you download uh, things from different websites. It's not free. You can get a 30 day trial from their website. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can use it for 30 days. And also you, you will find ways to bypass that 30 day restriction. So what are some requirements for this method? You need a Skillshare account where a paid or a trial subscription is active. You need a Skillshare course that you want to download. You need a computer running Windows. If you are not a Windows user, if you use Linux or Mac, then you can download VirtualBox and install Windows inside of that. And that way also, this will work. You need Internet Download Manager, obviously. And um, there is an alternate tool that you can use that's called Ant Download Manager. I have used Ant Download Manager briefly and it does do something similar, but I prefer Internet Download Manager. And the fifth thing that you need is patience and you will see why. So the first thing that you need to do is go to Google and type Internet Download Manager. Go to the website of Internet Download Manager, that is internetdownloadmanager.com. And over there, you need to download, try IDM 30 days free trial. It will, uh, you know, download, will take some time, download and install it. Once it is downloaded and installed, it's going to install a browser add-on, browser plugin. So I'm using Firefox for this demo. But if you use something else like Google Chrome, you will find an extension in the Chrome web store. When you install IDM, if you get a prompt like this, privacy related stuff, allow. And uh, you know, then IDM is installed. Then go to Skillshare.com, log into your Skillshare account, sign into your Skillshare account, and then choose the course that you want to download. So I want to download this storytelling for leaders course. Next, I have to click on download this video button here. And as you can see, I can download VTT files, which are subtitled files. VTT files are subtitled files for this video. And I can also choose um, TS file, which is of, uh, you know, different, uh, and those TS files are available in different resolutions. So I've got 720p, I've got 540p, 360p, and 180p, which are all the resolutions that are available for this video. So I am gonna choose 720p TS file, and then it's going to start downloading. Uh, it will take a few seconds, depending on the speed of an internet connection. 
for me it's already done what is happening is internet download manager is grabbing all these links from the browser and it's showing you the links so that you can um, choose one of those configurations and download the video so i can i just open it with vlc and as you can see the video plays just fine in vlc now let me try downloading another video from this course It literally took a few seconds to download the video, but it's done. And as you can see, I can easily play and I can, uh, you know, watch what is there. So what are some restrictions while uh, using this method? Firstly, you need an account, either a paid account or a trial account. You need lots of patience, especially for courses where there are, let's say, 50 or 60 videos. Trust me, there are courses on Skillshare with that many videos. Uh, one advantage of using this method is you can get courses in the best quality possible. If a video has 1080p, you can get 1080p videos with this method. However, since the videos are downloaded in TS file, it won't be playable on every single device. On your Windows computer, you would probably need a VLC to play TS video files. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or if you have any suggestions, let me know that also in the comments. To see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon. If you liked this video, then leave a like and share it with somebody else. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.